A new lawsuit names two former local bishops in the church sex abuse scandal case. 22 News reporter Jackie Bruno reveals why one Williamstown man says his molestation could have been prevented. Well, Andrew Nicastro is suing three top-ranking officials claiming that they knew that Father Alfred Graves had a history of sexually abusing a minor. It's angering. It's, it, it all could have been avoided had somebody simply done anything anything at all. Andrew Nicastro is now 38, but from age 11 until he was 13 years old, he says he was molested by Father Alfred Graves, a priest he and his family trusted. We have so much trust in the church and the priest. All my life, I, I thought they were the closest thing to God. Now, flanked by his family, Nicastro and his attorney, John Suburski, are filing a civil lawsuit against Monsignor Richard Sneezek, Bishop Joseph McGuire, and Thomas Dupre, three church officials who say they knew about Graves' history with child molestation. Father Graves admitted that, yes, I did have inappropriate interaction with the minor, and according to the writings we have, that uh, Bishop McGuire did nothing more than say, don't do it again. Nicastro said that the church offered him many apologies, but when it came time for therapy, he says they suggested he use his own insurance to pay for it. So Nicastro says he's filing this suit to receive some compensation for his pain and to help others. I hope at least if this stops it from happening to one more child, it will all have been worth it. But I can no longer stay quiet. Now, Spring, the Springfield Diocese has said that they pay for some of Nicastro's therapy, just not as much as, their, that his, as his doctor recommended, but they said that they do offer him the same assistance that they do for other victims. Live in Northampton, I'm Jackie Bruno, 22.